rules behind your buckle. This tutorial, I'm just going to show you the curvature tool, curve design, or could of course be any other stroke design, with blend tool and width profile. It does seem to be a few quirks in this. So uh, um, sometimes you'll suddenly find you've lost the width profile in between the, the two blends. So I'm not certain why there is that feature. Anyway, first thing to do, just go up to the curvature tool and I'm going to create a curve and then with that curve, just set a, and then so you've got a width profile being added to this. Now hold the Alt down or Option, depending on the system, and just drag it across there. Select that and Blend Tool and click across there. And you've got that. So you can see each one of those curves. Now sometimes what happens is it doesn't do that and you end up just with the straight basic stroke. I'm not certain why. I have to say, not certain why at all. But if it does go, you can always have to undo and go back to get those back. But you can use it for a bit and then suddenly, sometimes it will just suddenly decide at a whim that it's gonna not have those lovely curves. And you can modify that numerous ways and distort. But if, like I say, if it does suddenly go and loses it, it's not, it doesn't look half as good. Move that around like that and push that in there. And at that point, what you can do, of course, you can actually select the whole thing and maybe use other effects, modify it maybe with blurs, or maybe add it to the library. And then, of course, you can use it in Photoshop. So I was going to say that you just go over here and say select that. And I'm using the direct selection tool to select this part. And you can actually go to the width profile and select a different width profile. And you see what happens? It ends up actually just doing that one but that one remains the same and then it puts all the rest it can't work out how to get between the two so I'm just going to undo that but it also seems to do it for other situations as well so just be aware of that when you're actually using this tool like I say you can do that and you can stretch that out pull that out a bit further and of course you can also rotate design so again sometimes I've noticed the same error happens as well where suddenly the path suddenly loses its width profile in between. I'm not certain why. Right, so you got that. Say you want to select there and you can also recut that. And again, this shows again the same problem. Can't seem to work through color, so undo color and it goes back to the same width profile. And again, you can still, and you can of course still add points to it as well. So if you want to, just go over here and maybe add anchor point or curvature tool and add some more. So I'm just gonna make that curve down there so you can continue on to create there. And of course, go over to the other one if you wish as well. Just select that one with the curvature tool, it does help. Continue on like that. And they have a great way of creating some very interesting designs. Now, once you've done that, you can, of course, just go and select the whole thing and go to object and maybe go for warping or envelope distort, say make with warp. That's another option there. And you can see, again, you can create some very interesting distorts and it still keeps, obviously, the width profile. And you can see that design, click OK. At this point, what you can do, of course, save it over to the library and then you can use it in Photoshop and much more. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.